Greetings everyone, today we will be diving into the world of creating an external cheat for games that utilize Unreal Engine 4. Firstly, you will need to dump an SDK using my dumper or any other dumper that supports external SDK. The dumper can be found on my YouTube channel, and once you have successfully dumped the game, we can then proceed to include the necessary classes and use them to create our cheat. For a more in-depth understanding, I encourage you to check out my previous tutorials on reading and writing memory externally, as well as making an overlay externally. Additionally, if you would like to show your support, you can visit my Patreon page to download the source codes that I have used in my tutorials. Let's get started. Excellent, let's expand on this further. When creating an external cheat for a game that utilizes Unreal Engine 4, it's important to have a solid understanding of the underlying architecture. The engine contains various classes that are essential for interacting with the game, and by including them in our cheat, we can gain access to powerful tools that can be used to our advantage. UWorld and ULevel are just two examples of the many classes that are available in the engine. UWorld represents the game world and contains information about the various actors and components that make up the game, while ULevel is responsible for managing the different levels in the game. By including these classes, we can start to access and manipulate the game's data in real time. This can be used for a variety of purposes, such as altering the player's position, changing the game's physics, or even adding new items or features to the game. If you have a good understanding of the engine and are able to develop an effective external cheat, the possibilities are endless. So, let's continue with our mission, taking careful steps towards our ultimate goal. Eliminating unnecessary variables in classes is an essential step in optimizing an external cheat. By cutting out extraneous variables, we can streamline the cheat's operation and make it faster, more responsive, and more effective. It can also help to reduce the size of the cheat.
Terry is a dynamic array data structure in the Unreal Engine. It is a template class that allows programmers to create an array of elements of any data type, such as integers, floats, or custom structs. The size of a Terry can be changed dynamically at runtime, which makes it a flexible and powerful tool for managing collections of data. Terries can be used to store and manipulate data in various ways. For example, they can be used to hold a list of game objects, keep track of the positions of different entities in the game world, or store information about player statistics. In addition to dynamic sizing, Terries offer a variety of useful functions for manipulating data, such as adding or removing elements, sorting, searching, and iterating over the elements. This makes them an essential tool for game developers who need to manage and manipulate large collections of data efficiently. Overall, Terries are a powerful and flexible tool for managing dynamic collections of data in the Unreal Engine, providing developers with the ability to create and manipulate data structures that can adapt to changing needs at runtime. The reason for multiplying the index by 8 in the cast function is due to the default pointer size of 8 bytes in x64 games. If we were working with a x86 game, the index would be multiplied by 4 instead. Fix Git Levels, as I forgot to show it in the video. Just like I did in the previous classes that had Terry as a member. Remove the part where it reads the memory and passes it as an arg. With the necessary classes included, we can begin initializing the memory class and overlay, taking a step towards creating our external cheat for games that utilize Unreal Engine 4. As highlighted in previous tutorials, these classes are fundamental to the functioning of our cheat and must be integrated. The source code for both the memory class and overlay is readily available, including on my Patreon page, where you can access it with ease.
we now initialize name pool, objects, and world. You can automatically get the address with my dumper or manually find them using my previous tutorials. With our memory class and overlay initialized, we can now use them to initialize UWorld and begin utilizing its full potential. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. You can join my Discord for more content. If you want to support me my Patreon link is in description.